Our next guest on the Suzuki Hot Lap is one of the toughest men ever to lace a boot for the Melbourne Storm, Mr. <laughs> Brian Murray. How are you, Noz? Uh, he's only said that because he wants me to give him a plug about how good of a player he used to be. He's one of the greats of the club and he always wants us uh, to listen comment to him. about himself. Listen to him now, Noz. Let's talk about the Hot Lap, mate. It was a uh, successful day there. Everyone had a bit of fun? Yeah, it was a great day. Uh, one of the best promos I've ever been involved in, to be honest with you. It was good fun. You uh, always blow up every promo I'll give you, so yeah, it's good that you uh, have about this I one. enjoyed the promos and um, it, was a, it was a good day and they, they're great cars. Um, all the boys were really surprised at it. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? Suzuki Swifts, um, yeah, the boys, boys ripped into them, so it was a good day. Talk me through, mate. Um, the day, there was a lot of water on the uh, track early on. Did you uh, get to go late or early? Yeah, unfortunately, I got too eager and when we got timed, I went a little bit early. So I was slipping around a little bit. It's, you know, I was probably the best driver out there, but I just didn't wait till it the track dried out a bit, so I don't think I would have gone that well, but. I've spoken to a lot of the boys and. Um, <laughs> Good tradesman right. never blames his tools, Norrie. You're right up, you're right up there with uh, Ryan Hoffman when they come to conservative drivers. <laughs> oh, Ryan Hoffman. <laughs> He's dead set of grandma, it was disgusting. Well, they he reckon was... you're not too far ahead of me. <laughs> nah, him. mate, I was outstanding, it was just a wet track. Okay, well, let's check out uh, how you went on a day and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll go through it and we'll, we'll, we'll go from there. You're very serious there, Brian. It looks very dry. You've, you've been talking about how wet it is. Look at the water. Look at that. There's puddles everywhere. Okay, so you're going up the first corner. You've overcorrected there. You're off on the. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is this is your this is your lap. You've been timed on. I've been timed and I came off. So if it wasn't wet, I wouldn't have come off that first. <laughs> you look a little bit embarrassing. Yeah, because look at look at how wet it is. If it wasn't wet, I wouldn't have come off on that first one, and I probably only lost by a second. Being an ex uh, celebrity Grand Prix driver, I reckon you've gone a little bit too hard into that first corner. Yeah, I didn't work to the conditions. That's all it is. Exactly. But as uh, we've heard in the backgrounds from some random bloke out the back there, um, a good tradesman never blames his tools. And you've I didn't blame it. I didn't blame the car, mate. That's my tool. I said the weather, the weather sort of, you know, dampened how I was going, but um, obviously I, I needed to drive to the conditions or wait until it dried up, like some of the other boys that probably won the day. Yes, they sat around and okay. waited. So, so again, coming off the going, going, going off the track there, how much do you reckon that would have cost you? It would have that going off that track into the dirt there, very wet corner, as I said, um, probably would have cost me three or four seconds. So, what you got to do, you got to look through the corner there, the next race car driving myself, you've got to look through the corner. Um, up, up the straight here, it looks like you foot to the floor. Yeah, yep. no, it, was, it was a good day. And um, yeah, as I said, going off the track early probably probably affected my time a little bit. <laughs> now, Nice, knowing that uh, the pros doing it at about 1.15, and uh, as we see, the uh, the leader there is Jordan McLean on at 1.21, right down to uh, the nanny, uh, right on 127. What do you reckon you would end up with? Um, I reckon a mid-range, as I said, I, I came off the track and um, it's quite uncharacteristic for, for me as a, as a race car driver coming off uh, the first turn, but um, unfortunately that would have cost me a couple of seconds, so I'd be mid-range, I think. Well, Certainly not behind this old fella. <laughs> well, not very often that uh, we'll, we'll hear this, uh, but um, Brian Norrie is faster than Billy Slater. There you go. See, there's the three seconds I was talking about. Would have been a victory. <laughs> well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. One of the toughest men here in the uh, Melbourne Storm ranks, Mr. Brian Norrie, and uh, not too so, not so bad on the racetrack either. <laughs>